a lot of people in the world of AI, they talk about more educated buyers. And I think we need to talk about more educated sellers that you could be doing more research and more education for yourself and, and learning so that you're on an equal stature when they're coming in. How do you think about this new world? What, is, what has changed and what are some things maybe that the general public hasn't caught up with yet as far as uh, customer education? Yeah, I mean, I think we're entering into a stage of business and a stage of the world where it is really centered around knowledge and education, and you're building this culture of learning. I think AI has really seen that sort of for most of us of like, it came in and all of us were like, ooh, I got to go and learn about this thing. And we should be doing that for every topic, for every product, for all these systems, not just for AI. And so this culture mm -hmm. of learning that we're seeing come up is going to help our organizations grow and help us as individuals because we're starting to really obtain more of that. What should I be learning? So when I'm talking to customers, I'm able to bring in that full picture versus this sort of funneled view of maybe what I'm used to talking about being able to open up more of those connections. You know, we talk a lot about community. Community is such an element with this culture of learning, which is how do we build these connections over time and stay connected? We're learning together. We're growing together, all that fun stuff. But then the other piece of that that I think is sort of nuanced and maybe we're not thinking about yet is if we don't want to be disrupted, if we don't want to be disrupted like things mm -hmm. like AI, we have to maintain that level of knowledge and experience and then do something that AI can't, which is build the connection, bring in the contextual example, be able to apply this concept and this concept and be able to bring that all together. And that comes from that continuous learning motion. Yeah, I love that. We're looking at a lot of that with Sandler and how sales pre people bring value, yeah. right? Is you need to be able to answer the questions they can't Google or ask them the questions they didn't know they should have Googled because right. they're not a pro in the industry and there's some real value that humans can bring. Uh, but I wanted to ask you a little bit more about the value AI can bring because I see one of the interesting things being uh, on both sides of it, human and AI, personalization these days, that if you're doing the same pitch to every customer or even the same education in L&D and, and in HubSpot uh, Academy and other things, it, it has to be such a personalized learning path anymore. People's, uh, I just say, acceptance of uh, wasting their time or their uh, patience with stuff that's not relevant to them is just dropping dramatically. Are, are you seeing that across all industries and stuff there too? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, we've been talking about, you know, capital P personalization for years and it just keeps coming back. Like everyone wants that tailored experience. They want to feel as if you're reaching out to them with that context, particularly in a global environment, that cultural nuance that you're not going to get from just the wide mm -hmm. variety of people. And AI can really help us in that because to do personalization, you have to learn, you have to explore, you have to do that. And so AI can help us automate some of the things that are preventing us from getting into that sort of upper space of learning and engagement. And so in the L&D world and in customer education, some of the bigger tasks that we have is, all right, you want to create all these courses or you have to edit them. You have to go in and make sure that they are copy like edited and developmental edited, like all stuff. AI can play a huge part in that localization is another big element. You want to take this global, you want to localize more content efficiently. There's so many tools on the market now that are going to help you do that in a way that's streamlined, which is going to free up your humans to go and learn, build the personalization and make those connections. And I think that's one of the more realistic and maybe not as sexy implementations like implementations of like AI, but it's going to help us so much with what we're trying yeah. to do long-term to free up that space for our teams and for ourselves to really get at that contextual piece, which is that personalization. Well, thank you for helping us get our attitude right and our, and our heads around this.